Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Tea with Tender. Today I have my cup of tea. I've been drinking peppermint and ginger tea. I've been drinking this every single morning. I love, love, love the taste of it. So anyway, let's get straight into the video. Today is going to be an interesting video. It's going to be... Um, it might ruffle some feathers. I hope it doesn't ruffle some feathers and I hope everyone is together with this. But we're going to be discussing natural hair versus relaxed hair. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> so um, based on my sort of experiences and stuff as a natural hair girl, I have noticed that there's this sort of don't sit with me mentality between the natural hair girls and the relaxed hair girls or the natural hair girls and everybody else there's a bit of this whole don't sit with me we're not friends we're not mates we can't converse we can't coexist together and i've noticed it myself in certain situations when i've met people who are, are maybe natural hair it's like oh my friend my sister clan <laughs> click <laughs> squad <laughs> um and then with natural hair some relaxed hair girls it's like oh you know it's like they have to affirm themselves to me or they have to affirm themselves to certain people and i think that's what that sort of brings up this whole mentality that there's two different sections and they can't mix they can't coexist or like black hair companies natural hair companies can't make stuff for people who have relaxed hair or this is for natural hair girls these products are for natural hair girls and then there's other products for everybody else and i think that sort of aids into this whole segregation between natural hair and relaxed hair people and that's what i wanted to tackle today um personally for myself i feel like i've experienced this myself i know that with natural hair there's some stigma towards natural hair as compared to relaxed hair uh you know there's you hear stories all the time about schools banning girls from having their afro or their natural hair out or you hear you know stories like that that you can't some workplaces saying you have to do something about your natural hair it's unkept um it's nappy it's you know all that kind of stuff but then there's also the other side of it where it's like people with relaxed hair are viewed as um traders or they're they've been colonized they've given into the to the system which is not necessarily the case, you know. I used to be natural myself. Majority of us um, who are natural now used to be relaxed or used to relax our hair. And we were happy and we were content with it. And we've transitioned and now we're natural and still we're happy and we're content with it. So I feel like this whole segregation that's happening, it's it doesn't help us as uh, women because we're sort of aiding to the stigma and the stereotypes and the backlash that we get from other cultures or from the system because we say to one another that oh this person is this and we stigmatize them as that this person is this and we stigmatize them as that and then other people are like oh that's true you're right you're right yeah that's true and they join in and we're attacking one another but they're attacking us you know so it doesn't aid us in any way it continues to just separate us as a, as a unit at the end of the day we all have the same skin it doesn't matter where you come from we all have the same skin and our hair type is the same it's not straight so when we then go to one another and we attack one another between us and we sort of put the divide between us it continues to to further divide us even more than we are being divided by by the places that we're in majority of us you know we are staying not where we were born we're, sp we're staying in the diaspora and you know in some places where we stay we are 
the victim because of the way that we look like, because of our hair, because of our skin, because of this, because of that, because of our accent. We're stigmatized already and we're discriminated against already. And then to add on to that, when we discriminate against one another, when we are within our communities where it's meant to be safe and where we're meant to love one another and uplift one another, it's like, it doesn't help the situation. I think at the end of the day, we need to get rid of this whole mentality of the natural versus the relaxed. I know some of you may have been thinking this video was going to be me roasting people with relaxed hair because I myself have natural hair, but that's not what my intention for this video was. My intention for this video was to draw attention to the fact that we are discriminating one another and judging one another based on hair. And it may seem like such a minute thing, but it aids to so much stuff. It aids to the segregation that we're putting between one another. You know, we were people were already segregated years ago, and now we are segregating one another between us that are all, this is a yellow bone, this is a dark skin, this is nappy, this is relaxed. And we're saying, some people, not everyone, some people are saying that this form of beauty is more desirable than another form of beauty. Or I prefer women with this type of hair instead of this type of hair. I prefer women with this type of skin tone instead of this type of skin tone. And that's within itself a whole conversation. But as women, we need to sort of learn to understand one another and to love one another for what God has given us and the decisions that we have decided to make. I can't judge someone based on a decision they have decided to make on their hair, nor can I criticize them based on a decision that they've decided to make over their hair. It's hair. You know, hair can go within a second. We can't make it such a social issue because all this stuff that's occurring can, won't stop until we sort of with, within ourselves decide that we are going to be united and we're going to accept everyone as they are, whether their hair is relaxed, whether they shave their hair off, whether they cut it and have a buzz cut or whether they want to wear weaves or box braids, whatever they want to put their hair in, whether they want to wear cornrows, you know, it's up to the individual because it's the individual's hair and we can't crucify someone because they've decided to to make a certain decision with their hair going forward i hope that this whole segregation and this natural hair versus um relaxed hair situation will will disappear and we'll get to a state where we we love each other's hair we are all one we are all colored we are all black we all have texturized curly kinky hair and we all need to take care of our hair we all need to take care of ourselves and by sort of going with this flow and this new wave and this new trend we can help to make everyone feel accepted and to be a stronger unit as a whole and that's the way that we should always remember that we are one we are all people we are all beautiful we are all amazing we all have gorgeous beautiful hair and it will continue to be gorgeous and beautiful and amazing if we continue to take care of it and to love it and to care for it so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this um brief little discussion or so um i hope it's sort of broadened your mind made you think about a few things maybe made you think about the way that you talk to other people treat other people or view other people um yeah i hope you guys like this video comment down below your thoughts i'd be really interested to see everyone's thoughts and what they think and what their thoughts are regarding this whole natural hair versus uh relaxed hair movement going on if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and don't forget to put your notification bell on so you get a notification every time I post a video. I will see you guys next week. Love you guys so much. Bye.